Uh, morning chaps, we're here at some Schlonger uh, launch site, Granny's Pool, down at uh, the beachfront of Schlonger. We're uh, just waiting for the tide to drop and first light to come. Uh, my tide was at 10 past 4. It's now coming on quarter to 5, so it started getting light around about 5. And we're hoping that it will have pulled back enough just for us to fit the boat in. I'm fishing with a good friend of mine. We grew up fishing together, Richard Jones. Um, so yeah, we uh, got the A-team now. And um, we're gonna go and get some bait. The bait's been wild the whole week, so let's hope it's still like that today. Um, load up with some, there's been red eyes, there's been um, mozzies, mackerel, scad. Um, that's the cigar mozzie, which is a deadly bait, and razor belly. So yeah, if we can get all that, we'll be very happy. Full our line bait hatch. And then we'll start working our way north. We saw a bait ball here yeah? and we're getting bust up so we stopped a couple of baits we went two sticks on and fortunately Richie's one got jammed it was like a tuna Lovely boat. Hey guys, yeah, we said we weren't going to travel far today, so we just came up to Princess Grant. It's about 55 kilometers from Longer. We're uh, going to try for Kutia. You generally get bigger fish here. You don't get a lot of fish, but you get uh, generally good quality fish here. So. so I'm just putting a razor belly out on the top. Setting one down, which is put a, a mozzie down there. I'm going to put a mackerel out. And I've got a dead bonnie that I've brought. Uh, I'm going to rig that as well and put that out there. Shout out mackerel, can you believe it? Okay, so we've got, um, got some intel from one of Richard's mates that uh, there's a few pity at the high points. So we'll come out here now. We're just uh, starting to set some baits. We came past Andre Jubey, we just saw him get a cooter. So they're definitely here. So we're just going to work around. We've got a whole lot of marks there in the clinical. It's a big stretch of reef. So we're going to work around and just see if we can't uh, get a bite. Finish off all of our live bait. We're fishing quite deep here in about 45 meters. We don't have a down rigger 
So I'm going to put a big bottom sinker on one of our baits here. Get him deeper down because the fish might be sitting further down close to the reef. Down tight. Yeah, bit of fish. Yeah, so we put a heavy sinker right on the bottom. Nice fish. Bit of fish. It's feeling like it's a nice fish and we'll be happy to get it. Nice clear boys. Okay, so caught this bunny the other day. Put him lacquer on ice so he's in very good condition. I was keeping him for a big fish, big fish day. We've got some toothpicks. And then we've got uh, some wings which I've made out of ice cream tub lid and pulsated. They do, they do, the, they do the glow. You just stick it on to the ice cream tub and then cut them out. Richard goes on now, I'm in a big leak. So see what I do is I put up his back fin and then I just push the stick in next to it and then that locks it up. It's so the same thing then right behind his peck here. Stick it in there. And behind it there. And then through the top of his tail here. Actually, you want a knife with a point, but anyway, work. Normally, I'd cut a bigger one, but this is what I've got at the moment, so we'll do. Let's put that through like that. So it's like a bit of a wing. Right, then we put the chinny chin chin on. Like that. I'm going to use the hook. One back here. Okay, let's see how this bad boy swims. That must go out immediately. One with a nice cute here. Let's reset this bait and we went on. Some really good showings here. Yeah? See the midwater showings cute here, yeah. We just lost one on the bucktail as well. I got charred there. I got charred. Oh, that's Charred. It's a 500 gram Dubs, 
Cover up. Oh, mine's getting chased. I'm gonna freeze pull him. Mine's right under the boat. Eh? I think mine got charred. The mozzie one shot. 600 gram, half a kilo, over half a kilo sinker. Down rigged. Oh, he's getting chased. Chased. He's getting chased. That's the line there, Rich. Come on in. Thirteen of these, this is what five we got. You know what? There we go, it's on the top. That's yeah. Hey, <laughs> Dubs Dorado! We got double up Dorado here. Yeah? As I was winding the one bait thing to check it. We've got these massive bottom sinkers on. <laughs> Shit, what's it off the line there? Let's cut down. Oh, it was a great start to the day. We uh, managed to get a uh, bait pretty quickly and then found a nice bait fall on the way up to uh, Princess Grant. Managed to boat one tuna, we lost two tuna, unfortunately. And then we got called up to um, further north up to Kinkazi, uh, saying that they had got a few fish here. So we arrived here, it was kind of quiet, but we stuck it out till the afternoon and managed to get five kuda and uh, two Dorado at the death, which was a uh, very interesting girl. Very enjoyable day. Hey, we saw one bait for pop up here. Yeah. Looks like red eyes or sprax or something. We had to have a throw. I think it's a yellow thing. I don't know how big it is. It's shaking this thing. Perseverance, boys. Perseverance. Yeah, it was an awesome day, Rich. Thanks, but it was uh, good to be out. And uh, any day on the water is a good good day. But yeah, it always helps when uh, you get some nice fish. We got some nice quality kuta, a good size, um, and a nice tuna and some some dollies, Rich said. So we're going to head back now. We got a bit of a haul and uh, going to get stuck into a couple of nice ice cold ones and see what tomorrow brings. Yeah.